company, fair warning, go ahead and pour yourself a glass of tea because this might be kind of a longish video. I know I have my tea. Mmm. Also, I did this really cool thing. I like, I froze some infants. I froze some babies and I turned babies into ice cubes because nothing makes a more refreshing glass of tea than iced baby. I don't know if you can see the babies. Can you see the frozen babies in this glass? Can you see their little bodies, their little frozen baby bodies? I brought a single cube so I could show you guys. <laughs> mm. There's little babies in my ice cubes because nothing is more fun than finishing a glass of tea and then having a bunch of strange infants in the bottom of your glass. If you're on my Facebook page, you probably saw me mention that um, I feel a little sad this week, so I thought, you know, it's like, there ain't no cure for the summertime blues. Isn't that a song? Or did I just make that up? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's probably because my birthday is about to come up. Doesn't everybody get sad, like, before their birthday, pre-birthday blues? I don't know. I'm just... Making things up now as I go along. And nothing cheers me up quite so much as talking about shoes. So this might be shoe week, which is kind of like shark week, except for there's no sharks, just shoes and babies in cups. This video, I have already tried to film five other times, probably 10, 20, and uh, I, I always end up being like, ugh, ugh. like, so just forewarning you guys, I've got a lot of stuff to say, and then every time I start to make this video, I get another message or another tweet or another Instagram comment about it, and so... Here we go. Today's video is going to be the updated final video that I'm going to be talking to you guys about my UNIF Hellraisers and that whole experience. And I know that there was a lot of questions about why I took the original rant video down and then why I took the updated video down and like, uh, la, 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 la. I don't know, it's madness, right? First and foremost, I just wanna say that I feel responsible to you guys. You guys are my swamp family. I don't care what you read, where, from home. I honestly do care about you guys. So that is why I made the original rant video is because I know a lot of you guys save up for pricier shoes like this and it's a big deal. So it's like you're saving up for it for many months or a couple weeks or I don't know or even if you're not saving up for it. You know, or I was getting a lot of messages saying that this is what you guys were asking for for your birthday or for Christmas or whatever, you know? And so that's why I made the original rant video is because I don't want you guys to buy something based on me being like, oh, I love it. And then like you get it and it's a complete piece of crap. So I feel that it is my duty as a human being on earth, even if I was a YouTuber or not. I mean, I tell my friends about this, you know? Like if I get something and I feel like it's not cool or if it's not up to par and it's something I've talked about a lot, I mean, that's my duty. That's my job to be honest with you guys, tell you guys what's up, how I feel, right? Okay. Second thing I want to establish is I've never been paid by any company that I talk about on here. Even sometimes if the company has sent me a product or a shoe or whatever, I'm not paid by them. I'm not employed by any of these companies. I have no actual affiliation with any of these people. I've never been paid to put a video up. I've never been paid to take a video down. I don't even know what, please direct me to whatever planet I can go to where people would pay me to not do something. I don't know what universe that is. The other thing that I wanted to say is that these Hellraisers that I'm showing you, I bought the original pair with my own money. I bought this pair with my own money. I guess I'll go ahead and kind of give you guys the full story for any of you guys who may have missed the original rant video, or maybe this is your first time on the swamp. I'm gonna hold up the new pair now because my old pair is really gross and dirty and it's been in a lot of muddy situations. It's just really nasty. It's not something I really like to put close to my facial area. This is the shoe that we're going to be talking about today. It's the Unif Hellraiser Flat. I'm sure that you guys have probably seen this shoe before if you follow me anywhere on anything because honestly there isn't a day that's gone by in the past 10 months that I've owned this shoe that I've not worn it, you know, be it to go out with friends or a little quick grocery run. They're just really, really comfortable. In my experience, they're high quality, good shoe that I like to wear. This was the only shoe that I took 
took with me to my Disney World vacation when I went in April, so I wore it every single day for two weeks straight for just, you know, miles and miles of walking. This is one of my old ones. As you can see, I mean, they're pretty much still in, you know, what I would consider decent shape. I mean, of course they're still wearable. These are the shoes I've still been wearing every single day. Like I said in the rant video, the only thing that I had to have done was the shoe resold before I went to Disney World, but like I said in the original rant video, I don't really feel like that's a problem with the manufacturing. I feel like that's like user error because I drag my feet, especially my heels a lot when I walk. I just do, I don't know, it's like an Alfred Hitchcock thing. I just kind of like shuffle. I don't really walk. These shoes have been been great you know they are leather so they do stretch out they do wear with time that's just like what's up with things on earth what is earth though we don't know we never know the only thing is is since I'm a heel dragger there has been a lot of wear on the heel you know some of the spikes look like they're about to just you know do their own thing run off start a brand new life on their own and then finally about a week or so ago one of my spikes did pop out I went on this website and it's a website that I've shopped on a billion times. So in no way did I mean to imply, once again, I'm not being paid by these people to say this. I just feel like I should say it. I have shopped at Dolls Kill a hundred million times. Every product that I've ever gotten from them, whether it be Unif, which I've gotten the Hellbounds, which are the Hellbound platforms, I got from them. So in no way did I mean to be like, oh, they sell fake shoes or anything like that. That's a hundred percent not what I meant. I just made an order with them and, you know, everything that came in. I ordered like a wild fox sweater that's like the real deal so I didn't ever mean to be like oh they're selling you fake stuff so that's not what I meant. Dolls Kill was having a 4th of July sale you know for like a week before 4th of July through the 4th of July and one of the things that you could get 40% off were the Unif Hellraiser flats and like I said this is my staple shoe my other ones were wearing out so I was like hey I will get a new pair of these shoes while I can get them on the 40% off discount so I ordered a pair of Hellraisers and they just were not what I was expecting they were a suede leather instead of this kind of leather and everything about it just seemed a little bit different to me. You know, so I was really disappointed with it. I didn't like it, but I got a lot of messages from you guys once I put that video up, and a lot of you guys said that you preferred the suede leather, that you liked that look better, um, that you had no problems with yours. So, you know, I was starting to wonder, okay, well maybe it's just my personal preferences, but I had already put that video out there, you know, and it just kind of created a bunch of hubbub. I didn't really think that you know, people would get that upset about it. You know, I, I don't know. So what basically happened after I put that rant video up is I got a lot of personal messages. I got a lot of emails from other members of the Swamp Family, other viewers out there, and you guys said that you had contacted Unif and that they had given you replacement spikes if any of your spikes had fallen out and that you had gotten the shoes swapped out if it wasn't what you were expecting. So that's what I was getting, was just a lot of mixed stuff. Like some of you were saying that you also didn't like the suede leather, that's not what you were expecting. Some of you said you preferred the suede leather. I was already getting a lot of other messages on Facebook. Literally, they were just, they were rolling in you know from all over Twitter and everywhere and I was just getting a lot of mixed feedback but a lot of people said that UNIF actually contacted you guys even quicker than they contacted me they contacted me about an hour and a half after my video was up you know saying hey we're sorry that you got something that you weren't expecting sorry that you're disappointed let's swap them out for you so that you get what you're expecting so that's what they did for me they swapped them out for me and I was told okay so please don't shoot the messenger once again I'm not I don't work for these people you know that's what I was told is that anyone who had received a damaged product anyone who was not satisfied with the product that they would have it swapped out or that they would send you replacement spikes or whatever you needed and I was assured that the customer's needs would be met for everyone. I was assured multiple times that it's not just because like I'm a YouTuber and I don't even know what, or, I mean, I don't even know where that's like really 
Like, I don't know. Does being a YouTuber really have pool, pull, pull, pill? Uh, what, what does it do? I don't think I can, like, go to a restaurant and be like, I'm a YouTuber. You better seat me first. I don't know. I wasn't really, like, expecting anything. Um, I'm a normal person in my head. I was assured that this was being handled for everybody. And like I said, I received several messages from just various and sundry of you guys saying, hey, yeah, they fixed it for me. They sent me replacement spikes. It's all cool. These are the ones that I wanted. This is what I expected. Da -da 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 -da. So that's why I took the rant video down because I feel like that makes me a jerk if I leave a video up complaining about something, complaining about a company that is doing everything in its power to make sure that their customers are happy, make sure that their customers are satisfied. Like I said a million billion times, I was assured by everyone that they're doing this for everybody who was upset about it and not just me. So that's why I took the rant video down. I took it down of my own volition. Nobody tells me what to do here or anywhere else in life. That's why I took the video down. And then that's why I made the updated video. I didn't know people would like take that in a satirical manner or think I was like being paid by somebody like this is the mafia or something. Seriously, do I look like a Corleone? That's why I put the updated video up is because I was still trying to maintain the whole Jalog thing. If I deleted the rant, I would have been short of video. So I was trying to upload a new video really quick and I was just trying to to give you guys a dash of information. I still remember that was like on, that was at like four o'clock in the morning on 4th of July. I've got like barbecue in one hand and a shoe in the other. And I was just like trying to espouse something really quick. So I guess it came off like really weird or stupid or I don't, I don't know. It was a 10 minute iPhone video and I don't, I honestly don't analyze everything that comes out of my mouth. Like, like, I don't even know what, I don't know what people be doing lately. Like, I totally did not mean that in a satirical fashion. From what I had heard from you guys, from what I had gotten from emails, myself from the company, it seems like the problem is fixed. You know, so that's why I put the updated video to let you guys know kind of what was up and uh, what I had heard and that the situation was supposedly being dealt with. So what I was told is that they were trying out a new fabric and I honestly didn't do that much research into the Hellraisers. The only ones that I have ever really had my eye on are the, you know, traditional ones which is the black with silver spikes but I kind of went to a bunch of different shoe people who have these shoes shoe people um and you know I've noticed like teal ones leopard ones pink ones red ones so I don't know maybe those have been suede leather the entire time and I never had another pair to compare them to. So I was told that the suede leather thing was just something that they were trying. It was just like a batch of them that they made and it wasn't made to be crappy or inferior. It was just something different that they were trying, which I mean, really isn't that I don't know. Like, that sounds reasonable to me. That doesn't really sound bad. I mean, there's tons of shoemakers and tons of purse makers and tons of fashion labels who just, like, you know, try something different. You know, so I don't know. Maybe this is the first feedback. Maybe this is the first complaint that had ever been, you know, like, put out in the world that maybe the suede leather would be a problem. Once again, I don't know that it was a problem because I got lots of messages from you guys who have the suede leather that say that you like the suede leather. You know, maybe it was just like a funky pair that I got. I don't, I don't really know. Um, cause I, I, I don't know. I mean, I imagine if it was like the worst thing on earth that there would have been a lot more complaining going on. <laughs> I don't know. At any case, here is mine. And I have been assured that if you order them from Dolls Kill or anywhere else, and I've only bought them from Dolls Kill, I've never bought them from another shoe website. To my knowledge, Dolls Kill were the first people who even offered this shoe online before it was kind of like the craze and now everybody is selling them everywhere. I have been assured that if you order this shoe, anywhere across the board that you're going to be sent this, you know, original looking pair, which is exactly the same as the original pair that I unboxed for you guys like last November, early December. These that I just got out of the box, the brand new ones, are exactly what I was expecting 
all along. Everything about this shoe is, you know, the excellent craftsmanship that was in the first pair. So I have no doubt that these will last me a really, really long time as well. I put these on. They're super comfortable, just like the original pair. I have gotten messages from time to time saying that at first these are a little bit uncomfortable for some of you guys. I never really had a problem with breaking them in. I never got blisters when wearing these. A little tip that I have for you guys if they are uncomfortable, sometimes if you just put your foot in the shoe and then like put the hair dryer on the back to warm it a little bit and then kind of wiggle your foot around. Sometimes with other loafers or things that's kind of helped me to ease the break-in process a little bit but I never had a break-in process with these. I just basically put them on and they were super comfortable and I've honestly just worn them every day ever since. I'm super thrilled with these. These are still my favorite number one A-class staple shoe. These are a little bit flatter, a little bit wider looking. These are a little bit narrower because you know these I've been tromping on on for many 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 months uh so I'm sure that these will kind of like flatten out widen out you know as time goes on and of course these are all like scrunched up and whatever they these are just a mess but I'm going to wear them until they die so I didn't take all the videos down to be like super scandalous or anything weird I just felt that it was not right to leave a rant video up complaining about something that supposedly is being fixed for everybody. I hope you guys all love this shoe. This is still the staple shoe on the swamp. I hope you guys have a happy Wednesday. Guess what today is? Today's Hunter S. Thompson's birthday. So it's a national swamp holiday. Eat a piece of cake. Read a good book. Watch Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. As usual, I would love to have you stay. Become a member of the swamp family. I have one more shoe related video for, for shoe week. Can we have some kind of theme music for that? That would be awesome. I have one pair of boots that I'm super stoked to show you guys that I'm super excited about. Uh, so I have one pair of boots to unbox and maybe that'll be up on Friday. I don't know. Fun Friday? Shoe Friday? That doesn't rhyme. <gasps> Maybe I should do Shoe Saturday. That does rhyme. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl. Be part of all of the fun. And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. And I will see you guys later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye, guys.